All right, now it's time for Spiral Review. Okay, get ready and we will play for tallies. Okay? And you can kind of cover up your answer on your desk so that other people can't see it. And I will let you know yes or no if you got it correct. Read the directions carefully. This will be worth two tallies. Good. Two tallies. You can erase. Got it. Katie, you can erase. Got it. Erase. Erase. This is looking good. Erase. Erase. Good, erase. 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 Got it. This is looking good. Keep going. Good job. Good job. Got it, girl. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I like how I'm seeing most of us did the standard form, which standard form means what? Katie? Just in numbers, okay? It's like the regular way to write. And then I'm seeing lots of us do it in expanded form, okay? Um, yes, and I'm seeing some of us do it fourth grade style. Remember fourth grade style versus fifth grade style, what we said? So I'm seeing some people write it nine million. This is kind of like third grade style, 400 thousand and then two thousand right with our addition whoops Miss Bedell we'll just take that out okay four hundred thousand plus two thousand plus ninety plus two okay and then I'm seeing some people do it in like scientific notation basically okay so nine times 1 million. How many of you did it this way? Nine times 1 million? Okay, I saw a couple of you. I'm not gonna go into it right now, but I like the differences of what I saw. Okay, so guys, speaking of scientific notation, that is what we're seeing here. And you guys, this is just the same as um, regular expanded form. It's just taking it kind of one step further. It just looks a little bit different. It looks a little harder, but it's totally not. You guys have got this. So write this number in standard form. That means just in numbers, right? And then be prepared to say this number out loud. Okay, so have it in your mind. You might need to read it over in your head a couple times. Keep it on your desk so that we can say it all together. Okay, friends, we've got an eight in the hundreds place, right? <clears throat> We're creating basically a mystery number. We're making this an expanded or in standard form. So look, we've got an eight in the hundreds place. Do we have anything in the tens place? No, so we need to put a zero here. We've got a one in the ones place. We have a four in the what place is that? Everybody? Tenths. Tenths. Very good. So we put a decimal four. And then we have a nine in the hundreds place. Okay. Who, put your hand on top of your head if you're prepared to say this number. Can we say it all together? Okay, let's try to say it all together. 801 and 49 hundredths. Very good, awesome. Okay, give yourself a tally if you have that. All right, read this carefully. I'm not gonna read it to you. Read it carefully. Thank you. 
Happy race. Mm. Let's see. Find your mistake. Okay, very good. Erase, erase. Got it, Connor. Got it, girlfriend. Got it, girl. Um, let's find your mistake. Oh, I know. You read the question carefully. You, this is correct, but it's not completed. Okay, let's find our mistake. Oh, okay. So this is the correct product here. Something happened, a computation mistake here, where we subtracted. Can you write this product out to the side and then try subtracting again? Okay, Eddie, we've got an error in our multiplication, okay? Okay, we've got an error. How did we get this number right here? Okay. All right. We have a mistake in our final product right here. All right, kiddos, we're seeing a couple of mistakes. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Let's walk through it because I'm seeing several of us either make a, um, a mistake with our multiplication or making a mistake with our subtraction. Okay. So we all know that we have to multiply, right? What's the clue in our word problem that tells us that we need to multiply first? How did you know, Katie? Each, okay, so it says Carter had 86 bags of Skittles. Each bag holds 45 Skittles. Okay, so can you picture that in your mind's eye? 86 bags of Skittles, they each have 45. Okay, so I'm gonna be multiplying. So we can multiply two ways. Some of us are doing the area model, some of us are doing it the standard algorithm way. I'm gonna do it the standard algorithm, okay? 86 times 45, can you guys help me? Five times six? 30. 30. Five times eight plus three, 43. Okay, placeholder, cross that out. Four times six, 24. Four times eight, 32, 33, 34. Okay, see if you have that. If you made a mistake on your multiplication, are you finding your mistake? If you find your mistake, your brain is growing, okay? If you can find your mistake and fix it, your brain is growing. So let's grow our brains. This is what we should have for our total Skittles that we have, okay? Carter has that many Skittles. Oh my goodness, but look, his brother Cooper came in and ate 299 Skittles. What does that mean? Subtract. Eight, subtract. Yes, they're taking away 299. And then this is another tricky thing for everybody in the building, okay? Everybody kind of has a little hang up something on our subtraction, but we are gonna get through it, okay, you guys? So, can we do zero take away nine? No, we need to, what is it called? Regroup, let's regroup. So let's take our seven down to a six, and we're gonna give our zero 10 more, okay? 10 minus nine is one. Can we do six take away nine? No. Mm -mm. Okay, let's regroup. Make this down to a seven, and then give this 10 more. 16 minus nine? Can we do seven take away two? Five, three. All right, you guys, and I always circle my final answer. Do you have 3,571 Skittles? Yes. yes. Cole. I did it a different way. Okay. So I rounded 299 mm -hmm. to 300, then I just added one at the end. Anybody else do that? So if we have 299, we could just go up to 300, and then we don't have all of this regrouping However, if we give this one more to our 299, we have to remember to take it off of our final answer, right? Okay, so that's another strategy that we could do. Thank you, Cole, for sharing. All right, kiddos, let's go to our next problem. Can you guys see that, that okay? That is a tally, friends, yes. Here, I'm gonna brighten that up. Okay, read it carefully. Okay, I'm coming around for answers. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, yes. K 
Katie, Cole, keep working. One tally. Got it. Yes. Neil. Friends, let's think of our basic facts. Okay, this should be pretty quick if we know our facts well, okay? Um, so, what is six divided by two? Three. Three. And then I need to pop my two zeros on the end. So, no, that's not going to be 20, okay? Slash the trash. What's 12 divided by six? Two. Two. 200? No. no, slash the trash. That was probably our one that was trying to trick us, okay? 18 divided by nine? Two. two. Pop that zero on? 20. 14 divided by seven? Two. two. Pop that zero on? 20. C and D are the correct answers. I'm only giving you one tally because that's just one problem, okay? You have to find all. It says select all that apply. All right, kiddos. Ooh. What's that thing that we have to remember when subtracting or adding with decimals? What do we have to line up? Yes, ma'am. Line up the decimal. Okay, line up the decimal on your desk. And then should you add in your invisible zero? Okay. Got it. Yes. 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 Uh, the stray house. Check yours again. Rework it. You've made a little mistake. Got it? Find your mistake, stray house. Got it. Let's see. Did you put 54 and three tenths? 12. Oh, look. You copied it down wrong. What should that be? 12 and seven hundredths, not 67. Got it, girl. All right, friends. I love this. Carter checked his work. So we know that the inverse operation of subtraction is what? Addition. Addition. So when you're finished with the problem, instead of twiddling our thumbs and waiting, could we be checking our questions, checking our problems through addition? Absolutely. And then what did we always get out um, previously, like at, towards the beginning of the year when we were really just digging into this all the time? What did we always get out whenever we finished early? Challenge. Our challenge folders, okay? Do we still have our challenge folders in our desks? Um, I think, I think maybe we, a lot of us have completed them. Okay, so friends, can someone tell me the answer? What do you have, ma'am? 42 and 2300. Good job, everyone say it together. 42, 42 and 2300. Thank you, good job. Okay, all right, read this carefully. Oh yes, we get to draw a bar model. Throwing it back old school, let's draw a bar model, okay? See if we remember. All right, there's several things going on in this problem. First of all, we're talking about Janet and John. So we need to have a Janet and a John, okay? Okay, then it says Janet is four times older than her brother John. That four times signals to us that we need to have how many boxes on Janet? Four. 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 Do you have this? And then, so for every one that John has, Janet has four, right? Okay, now it's, it's like a puzzle. You just need to fill in what you know. John is eight years old. So in John's box, we need an eight. John's box is this big, same size and shape as Jan's box. So every single box that Jan has should have eight. And then go back to the question. What does it say? How old is Janet. How old is Janet? Um, Tia. 32 years old. Eight. Uh, four groups of eight is 32. So 32 years old. Okay. All right. Very good. Give yourself a tally. Nothing <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> 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 Get out there, folks. 
save hundreds of dollars, which the guy goes. <laughs> Happier than the campaign with Tembo blocking a shot. <laughs> Get happy. Yeah, Josh got 15 minutes. Could save you 50% or more. Okay. <laughs> okay, read this carefully. Be prepared to discuss. Okay, so think about your answer and how it's related to this question. Yeah, is this a one or is this a... Mm, where'd you get this one from? Oh, wait. I just don't think we need that. Hang on, let's see. Hang on, write it over here. 236 divided by five. Okay, I see lots of answers. Make sure that it makes sense for this problem, okay? And I see everybody's desk that I see, we're doing the right operation, it looks like. Okay, would someone explain, first of all, what operation are we supposed to use in this problem? The basketball player blocked 236 shots in five seasons. How many did he block each season? This would be his average over the five seasons. Okay, um, what operation are we supposed to use, Madison? Division. How did you know we were supposed to divide? Because it says each season. Can't each mean multiply sometimes? So how did you know that this was supposed to be divide? Ethan? So if you can picture this guy, he's blocked 236 shots in five seasons. How much is in each one? Because you know each can sometimes mean multiply. So some kids might multiply, but we know we're going to divide because we're trying to find out how much was in just one season, okay? All right, so when we divide, what did you get for your answer? What was the quotient? What was the quotient? Yes. 47 and one fifth. 47 and one fifth. Have you ever seen a basketball player block one fifth of a shot? No. So what would be the best answer for this problem? Yes, the, uh, the quotient is 47 and one fifth. However, that's probably not the best answer if I was to say, hey Chloe, um, what's your average of how many shots you've blocked? She wouldn't say 47 and one fifth. She's gonna tell me a whole number, okay? Ethan. About 47 shots. About 47 shots. So this means that over those five seasons, he's blocked 47, 47, 47, 47, and then in one of them, he's blocked 48, okay? But his average is gonna be about 47. Does that make sense as to why we wouldn't answer this in the 47 and one fifth? Okay, all right kiddos. Very good. I think we have just a couple more. Okay, find the difference. What happened here? Okay, yes, got it. Got it? Yes, good job, Lewis. Got it. Is that a five? Okay, good, 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 good. You guys are awesome. Good. Nice, oh nice, I love how you're checking that. As she's waiting, she is checking. Good job, okay, who can tell us the answer? Say it out loud. Rovina. 5,357. 5,357, and let's just double check. Yes, nice job. 